let's continue the session guys and let me do one thing let me turn on the cc on oh, no, let me stop sharing white boards Why I cannot see CC? Guys, can you see CC on your screen? CC, closed captions, subtitles. No, sir. You cannot see, na? Why do I get? You get CC option, right? So that we can. The option. Show captions. CC, you can see, Sultana. One minute, uh, let me share the screen. Share it. Can you see that option? Mute more captions. Yes, yes, yes. Captions. Show captions. Make me longer caption settings. Guys, can you can you hear me? Can you see the screen? Can you see the closed captions on your screen? Yes, sir. You can see, right? I guess you haven't turned on, right? So, can guys, can everyone see the closed captions subtitles? Right. Chalo, let's connect the server guys so what i'm going to do now i'm going to connect to the server okay i'm going to start this machine so how to create this vm so everything we discussed earlier okay so earlier means not in these classes those who joined in the regular classes so they know how to create these vms how to connect to the servers generally i'll show you now how to connect to the server in the organization okay i'll show you uh, from then onwards, I'll start installing SQL Server. Okay, uh, while installing SQL Server, whatever things are there to discuss, we'll discuss those things, guys, during the discussion. Okay, so let's start the session. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about the SQL Server installations. Okay, and what and all questions we'll get on the installations. So all these things we'll discuss whatever we discussed yesterday we'll cover one by one guys okay generally no one will ask you what are the um, uh, hardware and software requirements but in case in case sometimes if they are asking means generally we need hardware and software requirements and software requirements to install the sql server to install the sql server guys okay so hardware requirements will be like um, a storage we need storage to install the sql server we need cpu we need ram or memory okay we need ram or memory so these are the main hardware okay uh, requirements guys main hardware requirements generally how much ram we need how much cpu we need how much storage we need it depends upon the version to version okay for example if you go for sql server 2005 8 8 or 212 minimum 1 gb ram is required guys minimum 1 gb required okay but again no need to remember all these things but just for casual i'm saying minimum 1 gb ram is these are minimum requirements not maximum requirements why because in the organizations we are going to use big servers not with the minimum servers and also mostly no one will ask these questions but don't know about enter your right so don't know we cannot guess whether he is going to ask or he is not going to ask so minimum ram is like 1 gb we need and for sequels for later versions after sequels are 2012 okay 2016 i hope everyone knows sql server versions guys okay sql server versions is important like we have sql server 2000 onwards 
फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन नाइनटीन एंड द लेटेस्ट वर्षन इज सीक्वल सर्वर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू राइट सो फॉर सम वर्शन द मिनिम रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर डिफरेंट फॉर लेटेस्ट वर्शन लाइक सीक्वल ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन सीक्वल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड ऑल द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट मिनिमम रैम इज टू जी बी गाइज इवन सी पी यू ऑल्सो ओके सो सम 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 सर्वर्स नीड वन सी पी यू वन कोर सी पी यू एंड सम सर्वर्स नीड द लेटेस्ट वर्शन नीड टू कोर सी पी यू एंड ऑल स्टोरेज विल बी लाइक जनरली टू इंस्टॉल सी कोसर वी नीड मिनिमम फोर जी बी स्टोरेज मिनिमम फोर जी बी स्टोरेज गाइज फॉर लेटेस्ट वर्शन इट विल बी फाइव जी बी सिक्स जी बी बट अगेन इंटरव्यूज दे डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एक्जैक्ट आंसर सो इफ यू हैव सम आइडिया इफ यू कैन कन्वे दैट इज फाइन ओके सो जनरली यू माइट गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके वॉट आर द हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर सीक्वल सर्वर इंस्टॉलेशन सो हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स विल बी लाइक स्टोरेज मिनिमम फोर फोर जी बी सी पी यू वन कोर आर सी पी यू कोर टू कोर्स फॉर लेटेस्ट वर्शन रैम वन जी बी आर टू जी बी फॉर लेटेस्ट वर्शन सॉफ्टवेयर दीज आर हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स राइट सॉफ्टवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स वॉट आर द सॉफ्टवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो वी नीड डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क वी नीड डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क टू इंस्टॉल सीक्वल सर्वर ओके डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क टू पॉइंट जीरो डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क थ्री पॉइंट जीरो डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क थ्री पॉइंट फाइव डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क फोर पॉइंट सेवन ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ वर्शन वी हैव डिपेंड्स अपॉन द सीक्वल सर्वर वर्शन सो जनरली वी नीड डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क दिस विल बी इंस्टॉल्ड बाई द विंडोज टीम एंड वी नीड सीक्वल सर्वर सॉफ्टवेयर ऑल्सो वी नीड सीक्वल सर्वर सॉफ्टवेयर we need one virtual machine okay we need one virtual machine or a physical machine okay we need one virtual machine or physical machine these are the main important software requirements guys okay to install the sql server these are the main important software requirements okay so next question will be next question will be what are the prerequisites pre checks what are the what are the pre checks to install sql server okay what are the pre checks to install sql server so you might get you might get this question guys mostly you'll get this kind of questions and all so pre checks means before installing sql server what things you will check whether the server is proper or not what and all things you are going to check before installing sql server okay so these are the important pre checks guys so make sure enough storage is there or not make sure enough storage is there or not so generally in the organization we will have build sheet okay what is this called build sheet so in the build sheet they are going to mention everything clearly okay what is the server what version we have to install what are the drives okay and what are their capacities what should be the instance name what service accounts you have to use what logins you have to create what kind of files in which drives you have to store like data files in which drive you have to store log files in which drive you have to store backup files in which drive you have to store temp db files in which drive you have to store all these things will be clearly mentioned in that build sheet based on the build sheet we are going to perform the installations if it is a standard organization if it's a big organization they will have this kind of build sheets okay so based on that only we'll follow guys so generally tell them what are the pre checks okay so generally we use it to check the build sheet before installing the sql server and if they ask the process means we'll raise a change request okay we'll raise a change request once the change is approved then we will proceed for the sql server installations okay we'll raise a change request guys try to include process in your answers guys it's very important everyone will tell you in case how to install sql server means everyone will tell you we have to copy the software we have to dump the software we have to open the software we have to give this details this details these details and all we have to give and then we can install but if you explain with the process out of five people if four people tell the same answer and the one you explained with the process then definitely they will remember you they will give first priority to you guys okay try to explain in our questions also in our answers also i'll try to explain the process guys okay so listen carefully so this is the process we'll make sure we have a ticket or change request we'll make sure we have a ticket or change request guys i'll try to give this as a document to you okay in case any spelling mistakes and all there you can correct okay you have to spend some time on document right 
so we'll make sure we have a ticket or change request once we have a change request okay we'll connect to the servers and we'll check whether enough storage is there or not whether drive structure drive notation drive notation whether all drives are accessible or not okay and what are the what are the sizes of each drive sometimes you will have data drive 300 gb log drive 200 gb temp db drive 100 gb backup drive 300 gb like that you will have different drives guys we'll check whether all drives are accessible or not before installing sql server make sure okay drives are accessible or not fourth one is drive notation generally in each organization there is a default format if you go for a specific organization and all the servers in the d drive they will store data files only in x drive they will store backups only in l drive they will store log files only okay in t drive they will store temp db files only generally they will follow this notation so every organization will have drive notation the drive letters so compare with the other server check whether all the drives are properly created or not and properly accessible or not okay and next make sure you have service account name and the password okay this is very important why because while installing sql server we have to provide the service account so service account name and password we should have so if we don't have from where we have to get it we have to ask the colleagues colleagues will have the service account and make sure you have sa account service account is different this is sysadmin account sa means sysadmin account account username username generally it will be same only and the password username will be sa only but sometimes in the organizations of course during installations we cannot change sa login name but after installations we can change sa login name guys every point is an interview question only again sir um, you didn't tell me question and answer format nothing like that every point they will ask you sa can we rename sa or not yes we can rename sa that is an interview question again so what and all the important points will be there in the topic okay immediately i'll tell guys so again it's not like a question and answers kind of thing i'm going to write down right try to capture if you can and i'll give you the records also recording files also i'll give you if possible try your own try to write the complete notes of each and every point okay right so make sure you have sc account username and password guys and what else while installing features okay make sure what kind of features that we have to install these features generally will be there in the build sheet they in the build sheet they will tell you what kind of features you have to install and make sure the port number okay port number also if different port is there if different port is there whether that port is accessible or not you have to check okay so make sure the port number is like accessible or not port is listening or not okay so these are also very important guys so we have to check the features we have to check the service account sa account username and password and features what and all features you want to install drive notation okay and um, what else and mostly we are we are going to check these things only drive notations whether all the drives are accessible or not uh, and whether all the drives are fixed drives or not fixed drives or not why because you cannot install sql server on shared drives you cannot install sql server on compressed drives you cannot install sql server on read only drives okay and you cannot install sql server on um, um what i can say uh, flexible drives like you can insert like a pen drive kind of thing okay like a pen drive kind of thing you cannot insert sql server in all these drives guys so on fixed drives you can install sql server guys these are the main pre-checks to check the these are the pre-checks to install the sql server and make sure the server is rebooted okay eighth one is make sure the server is rebooted before installation itself before installation itself make sure the server is rebooted these are all pre-checks for installing sql server guys okay any questions till now please
Any questions? No questions? So let yeah, me uh, yeah, please explain yeah. about uh, .NET framework. .NET framework, what doubt we have? What is actually uh, See, that, doing? that we are not going to discuss. Okay, these are all interview questions and answers only. If we discuss in that way means, um, it will be like a course that we cannot cover in 10 days. Okay. okay, so what .NET framework you have to do extra hard work. So here, okay, here, if you want to, this is like a batch, especially for interview preparation. So I hope you should have some knowledge, SQL DBA knowledge. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. right. So then only you can understand the things clearly. Okay. So better if you don't understand. If I miss any interview questions, you might have uh, attended some interview questions, right? If I miss any interview questions, you can tell me. But what is .NET Framework like? This we cannot discuss. Actually, that is not our path that will be installed by the Windows team. But okay, please don't mind again. Why? Because I have to limit these sessions. Otherwise, like uh, I have to keep telling the same sessions for one month. It's very difficult. Okay. This is just a interview questions and answers session. Okay. Right. Chalo. So this is the server. I am going to connect to this server. Uh, let me check the IP address before connecting. Out. What is the command to check the IP address? Can anyone tell me? This type of questions also they will ask if they found that you are not a genuine candidate. They will ask this type of questions also. What is the command to find the IP address of the server? IP config. What is the command to check the server name? Hostname. Yes, okay, hostname. So the server IP address is 192.168.0.11, okay. I am going to use this one, sir. Why you are using that? Why you are using this and all? For that, you should have some knowledge, guys. Otherwise, do one thing. Just follow my initial videos that are there in the YouTube, okay? At least if you follow one playlist, you will get an idea initially how I configured, how I am connecting, what is remote connections, okay? They are not going to ask these type of questions and all, right? For that, what we have to do? Just go through one of my playlist so that you will get an idea what is remote connections, how to connect to the server remotely and all. You'll get an idea okay and this is how generally you'll collect connect to the servers in the organization guys okay this is called rdp remote desktop connection rdp or rdc both are same This is how the real server look like guys. Once you connected, once you got the job, this is how the real server look like. So, okay, once you are connected to the server, you can see the server like this. If you want to minimize, this is the button to minimize. Okay, just minimize so that you can access your local computer and also let me connect to the server. Yes, this is the server. Right, chalo. Let's do one thing. Let me check um, services.msc. Let me check how many instances are there. So, they will ask you um, how to check how many instances are there in the a windows machine you can use services.msc one thing and uh, you can use c program files also okay c program files also you can use let me show you so open services.msc select any service make sure the services are in alphabetical order and just hit yes you can see all the services that are starting with yes so here we need sql server services right you can see here okay so this is one server instance i have sql server and this is another instance i have total how many instances i have in this machine two instances guys listen carefully instance is nothing but server one sql server is equal to one instance what we'll call it as guys instance one sql server is equal to one instance so like that they will ask you how many instances are there in the machine how to check so we can check using services.msc one option there you can see sql server in this brackets this is the instance name guys sql server brackets you can see instance name again sql server you can see one more instance name two instances Ma, are there in this hey, machine hmm, okay 
so you can see two sql server instances are there in this machine guys two sql server instances are there these are also sql services only okay that i'll tell you how many services will get when you install the sql server that i'll tell you okay so now we have two instances so how to connect to the sql server so we can use management studio management studio is a tool which will help us to connect to the sql server management studio generally you have to install okay you have to install the management studio then only you can use the management studio so management studio is what guys management studio is a work area for developers and the dbas so whatever things you want to do with sql server that we can do using this tool only you want to take backup you should have management studio you want to restore a database you want to give permissions you want to um start the server you want to stop the server okay and you want to um, do whatever you want that we can do in the management studio management studio is a kind of a tool it will help us to connect to the running sql servers it will help us to connect to the running sql server so let's see whether we have enough free space is there or not in this c drive if we have free space we'll install one sql server quickly we don't have enough free space guys so what we can do uh, let's uninstall the sql server one one instance i'll uninstall right so that uh, uh, we'll get some free space why we have this much which folder is taking more let's check guys okay uh, program files how much it is taking Seven point eight six GB is there. Yeah. Okay, 7.86 GB free space is there which instance is taking more okay SQL server only will take more definitely and this is taking 7 GB of data why it is taking 7 GB let me check this folder okay this is taking 5 GB why it is taking 5 GB let's check okay let's check this is taking only 1 GB mostly so let's connect to this uh, where is my manage should it is still opening yeah? okay let it be it is still taking time okay once once oh, like uh, once the management studio is open then i'll show you how to connect to the server sql server right now this is called management studio those who don't know so like uh, please just check once this is the management studio if i want to connect to any server i can use this tool to connect to the servers guys okay so now i am going to connect to this b48 sql 2019 so what is the instance default instance okay so let's connect to default instance default instance means i have to give computer name how to find the computer name in the command prompt you can give simply host name host name you have to give this is the computer name okay this is the computer name otherwise you can check this pc properties also this pc properties also will tell you the computer name okay this is windows server 2022 guys see here device name or computer name both are same this pc also will tell you the computer name and host name also will give you the computer name so here one of this server is taking lot of storage so what i can do let me check which database is occupying more space okay and new query okay sp underscore help db i'll do or else i'll do one thing i'll check the log file size select star from uh, select 
ओके डीबीसी से इक्वल पर ऑफ लॉग स्पेस आई विल टेल यू गाइस आई विल टेल यू अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट आई हैव टू चेक दिस वन व्हिच वन इज ऑक्युपाइंग मोर स्टोरेज आई हैव टू चेक नथिंग इज ऑक्युपाइंग मोर स्टोरेज राइट everything is showing 70 mb 17 mb only then why it is occupying that much 17 sp underscore help db okay we'll tell you how many databases are there and what are the sizes of each database okay so these are occupying more okay okay temp db we'll do one thing okay i'm going to delete all these databases for total four data by model okay model database size is changed right okay i'll i'll change it okay and this one this one nine temp db okay one two three four almost four gb here only it is there right bash bb daily daily 30 all bb daily how to delete a database right click delete guys rl square is there drop database database name sometimes you will get this also what is the command to delete the database okay right and let me delete other one as well delete and close all existing connections and click okay and right click delete delete and close all existing connections and delete right okay i'm going to change the um, model database size forget about all these things i'm just creating some free space guys that's it i'm not doing anything okay i'm going to change this to 8 mb this also to 8 mb Mm. and let me shrink this temp db i'm going to tell you how to shrink okay so it's a it's a interview question guys very important i'll tell you okay don't worry how to shrink the files and all i'll tell you and uh, 100 is fine right now let me check how much free space is there in the right now 4.49 gb free space is there no baby no please 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 okay i'll come i'll come in 30 minutes okay right okay let's <laughs> बाय बाय राइट सो लेट्स इंस्टॉल द सीक्वल सर्वर गाइस क्विकली आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द सीक्वल सर्वर गो टू दिस लेट मी चेक सीक्वल सर्वर यस सीक्वल सर्वर इज अटैच्ड सो राइट क्लिक हियर फॉर डिटेल्ड डिस्कशंस ओके गो टू द चैनल अगेन वॉच बैच 48 प्लेलिस्ट ओके यू विल गेट एन आईडिया ओपन दिस इज द सेटअप फाइल वी हैव टू यूज दिस सेटअप फाइल टू इंस्टॉल द सीक्वल सर्वर ओके right okay go to installation space new sql server standalone installation we have to select
right before and after installation you have to start the windows server guys okay otherwise this check will be failed okay now let me go to let me drag this to little bit okay let it be chalo right so Let's let me keep this to this right okay go to next go to next generally they will ask you this interview question guys generally they will ask this question like how to install sql server so what we have to do first we have to copy the sql server media to the server on which server we are going to install we have to copy the sql server media media means a software to that particular target server then we have to open that files this is called installation center we have to open setup file right click run as administrator mode then go to installation page then once you select that installation page we have to choose select the standalone install standalone new sql server standalone installation then you will get on screen instructions you have to proceed the on screen instructions there you have to select okay features and all what kind of edition you are installing you have to select okay and what kind of course licensing terms and all we have to select and uh, you have to select we don't want any azure extension you can uncheck this azure extension this is new in 2022 version okay go to next and feature selection this is very important guys feature selection so what kind of features you are going to install so i'll install database engine for sql server installation generally we'll install database engine is the main guys it's a heart of the sql server database engine replication full text these three are specific features this part is specific feature section this part is shared feature section so you have to select specific features okay you have to select specific features and shared features once you installed shared features will be installed only once per machine okay so once you install shared features for, for previous instances no need to select shared features otherwise generally shared features will be not in this 2022 in previous versions we have to select some shared features they will ask you what specific features you will select what shared features you will select specific features will be database engine full text and replication these are the specific features shared features will be client tools connectivity client tools backward compatibility client tools backward compatibility client tools sdk client connectivity sdk you have to remember this guys if you keep on installing see you are going to keep four years experience five years experience in that case definitely you will install more than 100 times in your career or at least 50 times you will install right so definitely you will remember all these shared features and all you have to remember these shared features client tools connectivity client tools backward compatibility client tools sdk client connectivity sdk we have to select these shared features while installing okay so for 2022 it was not there you can leave it no issues go to next right okay so this is very important screen which instance you have to install generally interview question guys how many instances you can install in a machine how many sql instances sql instances or servers you can install in a machine can anyone tell me how many instances you can install in a machine standalone machine 50 instances okay one default instance 49 named instances means we can install 50 sql servers in one windows machine we can install 50 sql servers in one windows machine 
okay out of these 50 instances one can be default instance for remaining can be remaining 49 can be named instance so how many types of instances are there interview question how many types of instances okay so default instance two types two types one is default instance okay one is sorry one is default instance second one is named instance guys named instance so what is this default instance what is this name instance default instance don't need any name it will take computer name it will take computer name to install sql server wow very good super okay unnamed instance guys in between my kid will come and she is going to disturb so if you do if you heard any sounds under this don't mind okay named instance generally you have to give name while installing so what are the naming conventions you can give for named instance naming conventions are name naming rules okay so instance name cannot be more than 16 characters okay instance name should start with Bye. alphabets okay and instance name don't allow any special characters other than dollar and underscore okay other than these two special characters you don't allow any other special characters even you cannot give space also while naming the instance okay default instance i have already installed guys so i can install only one default instance i cannot install more than one default instance in a machine i have already installed default instance so i cannot choose this one i have to choose named instance only so what name i am giving source university i am giving this name guys source university if you are typing more than this 16c now i cannot type source four one five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen it's hardly expecting only 16 characters guys instance id will be populated automatically no need to type instance id okay go to next right okay this is very important service account what is service account service account is an account what is service account service account is an account which helps to run the service we have three types of service accounts one is default service accounts service accounts second one is virtual service accounts and third one is in um, customized service accounts okay default account default service accounts customized service accounts okay and what else um, what else guys default customized and Daddy virtual service accounts virtual service accounts please 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 okay please right fine generally we can install sql server with any of these service accounts with any of these service accounts so this service account is responsible to read the data in the disk to write the data to the disk what is the main aim of the sql server sql server is a database software which will help us to store the data to process the data to retrieve the data storing means what it has to write the data to the disk right retrieving means what it has to read the data from the disk right disk means what folders right who can access that folders 
in windows operating system no one easily can access the folders and all for that you should have some permissions who will have the permissions who can enter inside the folders your service account will do all these things what your service account will do it will write the data to the disk on behalf of sql server it will write read the data from the disk on behalf of sql server so service account is a kind of an account which helps to run the service okay so it's a kind of a, a, a personal assistant to the sql server what not everything will be done by service account like writing data to the disk reading data from the disk everything will be done by the service accounts only this service account say that you can use custom service accounts or else you can use default service accounts or else you can use okay um virtual service accounts default service accounts again we have three types okay so can anyone tell me what are the default service accounts we have can anyone tell me guys can anyone try okay so default service accounts uh, local system network service network system okay so not only right let me check in the services.msc local service local system local system local service sorry local system local service network service local system local service network system these are the three default service accounts guys okay next question can we change the service account can we change the service account okay so the answer is answer is yes we can change the service account but it's a downtime activity so we have to restart that sql server after changing the service account okay from where we can change how to change the service account how to change the service account we can change the service account from services screen or or configuration manager configuration manager we can change the service account from the services screen or configuration manager first i'll show you how to install later i'll show you how to change the service account okay so that you will get an idea right so this is our window so i am going to install with the default service accounts i am not changing anything okay i am going to install sql server with the default service accounts next interview question is what is meant by collation collation is nothing but what is collation and what are the default collation settings collation settings is nothing but or nothing but it's a long way settings guys when you install any software when you install any application in your phone you'll choose language right in which language you can see that application for example you are installing phone pay you can install phone pay in your local language also it will show you in hindi it will show you in telugu it will show you in marathi okay so every local language it will support so what kind of data you want to see everything every option even phone also will support local language while installing you can choose the language okay so if you choose local language we cannot understand what they are saying and also it's difficult for us to understand the local language so like that in database that you are installing what type of language it has to accept english language we have some news websites right hindi news website telugu news websites local language news websites will be there urdu urdu media so how come they are getting the text and all their database is accepting that one so collation settings are nothing but long way settings collation settings are nothing but uh, it's a long way settings guys it's a long way settings what are the default collation settings collation settings okay sql underscore latin one underscore general 
अंडर स्कोर सी पी वन अंडर स्कोर सी आई अंडर स्कोर ए एस सीक्वल लैटिन वन जनरल सी पी वन मीन्स कोड पेज वन सी आई मीन्स केस इन सेंसिटिव ए एस मीन्स एक्सेंट सेंसिटिव दिज आर द डिफॉल्ट कोलेशन सेटिंग्स कैन वी चेंज द डिफॉल्ट कोलेशन सेटिंग्स द आंसर इज यस वी कैन चेंज कोलेशन सेटिंग्स आफ्टर इंस्टलेशन आफ्टर इंस्टलेशन ड्यूरिंग इंस्टलेशन ऑफकोर्स यू कैन चेंज इट हाउ टू चेंज कोलेशन सेटिंग्स कस्टमाइज क्लिक ऑन कस्टमाइज वट एवर लांग्वेज यू वॉन्ट यू कैन सेलेक्ट द लांग्वेज गाइज अरबिक चाइनीज वट एवर लांग्वेज चेक रिपब्लिक ओके फ्रेंच फ्रेंच लांग्वेज जर्मन लांग्वेज ग्रीक लांग्वेज एवरीथिंग यू कैन सेलेक्ट ओके वट एवर सो यू कैन चेंज द कोलेशन सेटिंग्स जनरली ओके यू कैन चेंज द कोलेशन सेटिंग्स ड्यूरिंग इंस्टलेशन बट आफ्टर इंस्टलेशन कैन वी चेंज इट येस वी कैन चेंज द कोलेशन सेटिंग्स फॉर दट देर इज नो डायरेक्ट प्रोसेस okay yes we can yes we can but we don't have direct process we have to change the binaries okay we have to change the binaries and we have to change change the keys in the res edit res edit okay Res edit is one section where we can see some keys and all. Windows are res edit, registry edit. Res edit means registry edit. Here you can change, okay? So, but it's not a good way. But the answer is yes, we can change after installation. Also, we can change the collision settings. But it's better to go for the. You can answer like this instead of changing like it's a kind of a risky, which is risky. Instead of that. we can install new sql server with new collation settings and we can move the data data manually okay which is safe process guys always in the organization will choose safe process only safe process right next is authentication screen okay so next interview question is how many types of authentication modes are there Next interview question is how many types of authentication modes are there? Authentication modes are there. Okay, there are two types of authentication modes. Okay, one is Windows authentication. Second one is Mixed mode authentication. Okay, so Mixed mode means Windows plus SQL authentication. SQL authentication. Okay. so what is windows authentication what is mixed mode authentication will be discussed in the security concept okay in the security i'll tell you again about this so the answer here one more question can we change the authentication modes after installation can we change the authentication after installation can anyone tell me the answer guys yes sir we can yes we can change authentication modes does it means restart of the sql server yes. but we have to restart the sql server which is a downtime activity always try stressing downtime activities guys so that they will be impressed so you have a clear picture which is downtime activity which you can do on a business hours which you cannot do in a business hours so always try to stress on the downtime activities guys chalo next here i am going to add current user so that this person can connect to the sql server now if you see mixed mode authentication now if you select mixed mode authentication here you have to select the password for the sca account see sca account you have to select password for sca account so generally in the organization will choose A strong password for SA account. Okay, this is very important screen, guys. Next, data directories. Okay, so in the data directories, in which drive I want to store the binary files, in which drive I want to store the data files, in which drive I want to store the log files, in which drive I want to store the backup files. In the organization, we'll have different different drives for every files, guys. So what we'll do if data directory 
is if data files we are storing in D drive will change this to D drive. If log files we are we are storing in L drive will change it to L drive. If backup drives, if you note, I told you right backup notation, drives notation and all. If you are storing backups in the X drive, we'll change this to X drive. So that no need to create these folders. Automatically SQL Server installation will create. But unfortunately, I don't have any drives, right? I have only one drive, so which is C drive. So that's why now I am dumping everything in the C drive only. Chalo, I'm not going to do this one. Why? Because it will throw the error. We don't have such a drives. In the organization, we are going to change it to a respect to drives, guys. Temp DB and all. Generally, you can tell while installing, we have to choose temp DB data directories. Okay. Uh, mixed mode authentic authentication types. We have to choose. We have to add one account to install the SQL Server. Temp DB drives automatically it will take the settings. Keep it as it is. Max DOP memory settings also will be there in SQL Server 2022 installation. So that you can explain all these things. He will be very happy. Just tell the terminologies. That's it. Nothing to explain anything. Just tell the terminologies. Again, I'm telling the answer how to install SQL Server. While in, first we have to copy the SQL Server software. Then we have to open the setup file with run as admin mode. Then we have to complete the pre-checks. Then we have to initially what we gave. Initially we have to we have to select the edition of the SQL Server. We have to select the key of the SQL Server. Um, what is that uh, license key? And we have to uh, select end user agreements. And then we have to select the features like database engine, replication, full text, uh, and shared features. Also, we have to select. And then we have to select the um, server configurations like whether we need to install a default instance or named instance. If it is a named instance, we'll give the name of the instance. Then we'll give the authentication. We'll select the authentication modes, whether it is a Windows authentication, mixed authentication, we'll choose. And we'll give username, password for the SC account. And we'll add one account for the installation during the during the installation to connect to the SQL Server. And we'll also give the service account name and service account details and passwords we'll give. And we'll also choose the collation settings. And we'll choose the drives in which drive you want to install data log and temp DB. And we'll also also choose the temp db settings we'll choose the max dop and memory settings during installation of the sql server 2022 that's it guys finally we'll click on install button that's it how many terminologies you explained around 20 to 25 terminologies you explained that's it he will be like happy he will be impressed guys so try to explain like this okay any questions any doubts No questions, guys. Is it clear? Am I going too fast? No, sir. Sultana. Yes, yes. Fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. So better my sincere suggestion to everyone is if you attended my earlier classes, that's fine. If you are not attended the earlier classes, please go through it guys. Otherwise, it's like a Mookie movie. Okay. Sir, I have one question here. Yes, please. Uh, actually, I don't know I, in nowadays companies are uh, encouraging to install the, the SQL servers manually, but uh, in my previous project, I have used uh, one software like that is the Jenkins. Uh, using Jenkins, just I have installed the SQL servers. Just I'm like, you know. yes, yes. So generally, nowadays everything became automated, guys. Okay, Jenkins is one tool which will automate your installations. So whatever things you give here, all the things you, there also you'll give, you'll give instance name, you'll give service account details, you'll select default or named. But instead of going next, 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 everything you'll give in the tool in the same screen itself. So automatically it will start installing guys. So in case if they tell, if you have good idea, good knowledge in Jenkins, tell them we have a tool called Jenkins using Jenkins. We are going to install the SQL server. 
we can install sql server in many ways gui the one which we discussed now this is gui graphical user interface we can install sql server using command prompt we can install sql server using configuration file.ini we can install sql server using slipstream method we can install sql server using sysprep method we can install sql server using powershell okay lot of ways are there but 99.99 percent is will use gui method to install the sql servers okay humma clear yes sir fine so let it be so quickly let's tell you one important point once you install the sql server this is interview question how many services you will get it how many services you will get when you install sql server okay so generally you will get six services six services one is database engine what and all services next question will be the what and all services you will get it database engine full text okay and um, sql server agent service okay uh, ceip service sql server ceip service and sql server browser service and finally sql server vss writer service so these are all different services that you will get it guys in this what and all instance aware instance unaware instance aware means it will exist multiple copies multiple copies is called instance aware so when you install one more sql server again you will get all these four services okay these four services are instance aware services and instance unaware services they will you will get this entry question guys unaware services okay so single copy for the whole machine means even though you are installing 10 sql servers only for the first time you will get these two services these are shared services instance unaware services means shared services okay instance aware services means specific services so which will exist multiple copies for each instance you will get again these four services okay but these shared services will exist only once per the instance guys these shared services will exist only once per the instance so that is why that's why we call it as a instance unaware services okay next where to check the installation failures interview question in case if the installation is failed where to check it we can check in the in the summary.txt file which will be there in the setup bootstrap folder okay and we can check and we can also check in the detailed text detail.txt file okay which is in the log folder which is in the log folder they will ask you guys simultaneous questions you will get it you will tell like i will check in the detail.txt next uh, immediate question will be where you can see the detail.txt in the log folder we can see date and timestamp folders date and timestamp folders there we can see the detail text still i am unable to fix it we can also check check the event viewer event viewer in the windows application logs okay in the we can also check the event viewer in that in that we will have windows application logs for that's it guys if you tell these points that's it you'll be happy okay this the more mostly these three points are required if you are putting like more than eight years nine years ten years and all then we'll go little bit okay but this is fine for five years up to five years this is fine okay we'll we'll can check up to uh, what um, 
event viewer guys in the event viewer you can see the logs of every application okay chalo any questions i missed guys in the installation please i'm going to save this file on the desktop right table i'll send these answers to all of you okay uh, sql int prep okay right any questions any doubts no let me check the installation status yes succeeded okay where i can see the installation failures yes when you when you install uh, when when you do the successful installation when the installation is successful you can see summary.txt not only successful if it is failed also you can see the summary.txt see this is summary file with server name you can see summary.txt if you open it's a notepad it will tell you if it is showing passed means okay your installation is succeeded this is one file will check installation is succeeded or not and uh, i told you right uh, we have one more option okay we have one more uh, file to check c drive program files microsoft sql server we just installed this right source university and ms sql and in the uh, oh sorry go back i'm sorry uh, here here binaries files i installed 2022 right so 160 folder guys you have to check the compatibilities if you install sql server 2022 you will get 160 folder if you install sql server 2019 you'll get 150 folder like that you'll get the folders go to 160 in that i told you right setup bootstrap folder go to this setup bootstrap folder i told you right log folder go to this and check the date and timestamp folders today what what uh, this is the summary file we just opened what is the date today this one only right check the latest one open this there you can see detail file open this how to check they will ask how to check in the detail why because this much big notepad is there how to check where it was failed and all we don't know right so we'll use control f error or failed like that we'll check failed or exception like this we'll use different different keywords to check the errors during the installation or after installation guys okay chalo any questions any doubts right so have you faced any errors while installing sql servers have you faced any errors while installing sql server yes answer is yes sometimes i'll get msi and msp missing files errors okay so for that microsoft how you fix that issue they will ask the next question for that microsoft introduced tool a tool called fix msi mxp and msp okay i'll download this tool download this tool and we'll copy this tool to the server and we'll scan the folders for missing files in this tool we have an option called fix all if you click on that it will copy all the missing msi and msp files and i will reinstall the sql server that's it guys that's it in case if you are asking what issue you face and all you can tell these questions you can tell this answer okay chalo then that's it for today guys tomorrow we'll continue and we'll discuss the okay other things chalo right thank you guys if you have any questions let me know otherwise i'm good to close this session for now fine sultana anil ashish yes thanks yes, right
चलो गैस थैंक यू गैस टुमारो विल मीट एट एट पीएम या बाय गुड नाइट थैंक यू